Hi, this is Mr. West, and you're watching a tutorial video for adding with some regrouping on MathDrills.com. Now, if this is your first time on a tutorial video, you may be wondering, why is there a tutorial video on adding single-digit numbers? So I have a couple things in response to that question. Number one, for those that genuinely need help with adding numbers, I'm going to present some strategies here in this video. But before I do that, I also want to talk about MathDrills.com. So there's tons of great resources on this website. So there'll be somewhere popping up. There'll be like a click here button. I can't remember <laughs> exactly where it pops up. But there'll be a teaser trailer for the intro video to MathDrills.com. So make sure to check that out and see what's available here on this website. Another thing, if you're a teacher and you're on this website to print off worksheets for your students, there's tons of great resources here and also on my YouTube channel, Wes Explains Best. Finally, if you're a student needing some help, I wanted to take the opportunity to let you know that I have an entire Math Drills playlist for this website. Um, and I also have a lot of other great resources available for those that need to leave a comment or request a specific video. So that's available on West Explains Best in case you're curious, okay? So I just wanted to mention those things. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll probably put some chapter headings in here so you guys can skip around if you need to. But basically, I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to check out some great resources if you need some help with math. Now, back to the adding uh, one-digit number strategies. So you're going to notice here that I've already added all those that are under 10 or 10. Well, you, you have to have that as a baseline. So 8 plus 1, 9, 6 plus 2, 8, and so forth. Those are all the values that add up to 10. Make sure you get those memorized, okay? Now, for those values that are bigger than 10, we're going to switch colors here. What I like to do is, if you're struggling with adding numbers like that, I always like to think of numbers that add up to 10 as my baseline. So, for example, I know that 9 plus 1 equals 10. So you see here that I have 9 plus 1. Okay, but this is 9, so I knew 9 plus 1 will get me to 10, and then I'm going to have 8 left over, so I know this is going to be 18. 9 plus 1 is 10, okay, 8 plus 1 is 9, so I have 8 left over, and I get 18 from that. Same thing over here, maybe you're like, that was a little confusing, well, let me do it again. So, I know 9 plus 1 equals 10, well, that's 5, not 1, so I have 4 left over, so that's going to take me to 14. 7. What about 7? Well, I know 7 plus 3 is 10. Okay, that's kind of like my baseline, my starting point. And I know that 6 is 3 more than 3, so I'm going to have to add 3 more to 10. So that's going to be 13. So I think that's kind of a useful strategy, especially with 7s. Okay, so 7 plus 3 is 10. I have 2 more, so that's going to be 12. And that's kind of what I do for a lot of these numbers that are going to be over 10. Okay, so... Thinking about the baseline of 10 is a great strategy for handling uh, addition of single digit numbers, okay? So this is just a great starting point. Um, and obviously there's a lot of questions in here. I might not do these, do all of them. But uh, again, so that's just one strategy out of many. That's not the correct strategy. I like to present a lot of different strategies in my videos. And if you have any more questions on this, leave a, leave a comment and I'll be happy to respond to it. And if you need any other math help, make sure to check out my YouTube channel, West Explains Best. Like and subscribe. And be sure to join us here next time right here on West Explains Best.